Holy crap, this game is freaking crazy! There aren't a lot of games where the main character is a mummy. And there's not a lot of games where you use your face as your primary weapon, but in Decap Attack, yeah, you've got both going on. Now, if you look at it for what it is, chances are you're probably gonna think this is the most pointless game in existence. And you're probably right. But I'd be a doo-doo pickle if I didn't tell you. I kinda like it. This game is all about funk. Funky characters, funky controls, and funky story. The main character's name is Chuck D. Head. You go around to put the world that looks like a body back together. You defeat your enemies by, well, facing the dead bad guys to death. You can also pick up a head, which Chuck doesn't have, so you can both face and head them to destruction. Make sense? Oh, sure it does. Now, if you love stupid humor, you're gonna love the names of the levels, all of which have to do with body parts, like Armington and Tubuland, and my personal favorite, Elbow Island. Get it? Elbow Island? As unique as Decap Attack is, I think they might have got just a little bit too creative with the bonus stage, because I have no idea what the crap is going on here. Originally, when this game was released in Japan, it had quite possibly the coolest name for a video game of all time. Super, Super Magical, Magical Flying Hat Turbo Turbine, Turbine Adventure. Adventure. Oddly enough, that name was changed when it came to America. Actually, pretty much the entire game was changed. The main character is no longer a little boy, these guys are no longer in the game, and what the hell, there's not even a turban! Anyways, if you're down with original stuff, and chances are you are since you're down with Screw Attack, you'll at least be entertained for a little bit before you start thinking the best way to destroy things is to extend your face into them.